Hello everyone. Today we are going to work on that uh, comet particle system you have seen uh, Gera particle in Unreal Engine 5 today. So yeah, as you can see, uh, as you know, a comet usually have two tails. One is for the dust tail and one is the ionized gas tail. The one look in blue. So yeah, let's see how to implement this today. Okay, so here we are back in the same map. We worked on the night sky and the galaxy. So let me remove the galaxy and oh, we have a reference in the blueprint. So uh, the reason I remove galaxies, I want to focus on a uh, Okay, so yeah, let's create a new Niagara system. Next, let's use a fountain. Finish NS format. Right, so let me place it here. first and yeah so this is a comet Ooh. I don't think we need gravity so let me disable that okay and I think instead of uh, shooting the particles upward it would be better if we shoot the particles into a site this okay now we can barely see it even though let me go to the level of the character we do have a character no right where is the comment now Okay, over there let me put it somewhere over here right mm. then let's increase the spawn rate like this and the uh, particle lifetime maybe 5 to 10 okay drag let's reduce 0.1 so it, will, it would reach a uh, higher range and it looks a lot wider so let's reduce this cone angle not enough up oh, shape okay. Okay, so let's reference some images. So as you can see, uh, the tail of a comet is not that thick. It is slightly transparent. So first, uh, let's reduce the size. Yeah. It's between 6 and 12. Let's make this 2 and 5. Right. 
Oh, one more thing. Uh, this should be moved beyond the cloud level. So this is much closer actually. So we should work in a completely different scale. Let me move above the clouds. If I go to a little mode, oh, wait. I can't see anything. I can't see the clouds in the unlit mode. Wireframe also I can't. I can only see the clouds in the lit mode. Let me temporarily increase the direction light intensity. This is the cloud level. So, where is the moment? Okay, now it's above the cloud level. Great. Let me go to the character level. Now, where is the comment? Put it over here. and change the direction light intensity back to the original level right now we can't see the comment at all so let me change back the sprite size to the previous value I had still nothing Let's change the lifetime twenty to thirty. change the scale to 10 times higher all right now we can see something and again increase the velocity 15,000 to 18,000 great let's completely disable the drag uh, so it would look better if the head has a little more emissive on us so for that we have this scale color and scale rgb let me multiply this with a float and change this float to a curve float from curve and use this shape let me add a key here at 0 to value should be 1 and the first key this one should uh, first key let's say a higher value like 50 see now we have some emission in the beginning if I increase this value further 
we'll get more emission like that maybe that's too much now that seems better okay so I think it would be better if the tail has some curve so for that we can enable this gravity yeah now it does have some curve see Is that the way it should bend? If I make this positive, yeah, now it's bending upward. Okay, and another thing is we have two tails usually in a comet the dust tail and the ionized gas tail, this bluish tail. So let's add it now. The curve should be other way around. So that blue tail we can put it here. So let me duplicate this. Let me rename this as uh, dust tail. Control D. And this should be white. So G B. Here I'll change the gravity. I'll just disable the gravity. So it will be straight. see the blue tail clearly oh wait let's make this positive Okay, now we do have the blue tail, but it doesn't look clear. So maybe this should be closer to white. Right, now this color looks good. But the problem is, uh, this separation, I think it should happen more sooner. Earlier. So... Let's try something like this. Let me just disable the gravity and change this uh, velocity direction. Maybe not that much. Point two. Right, that seems good okay so I think we can have some gravity now right, so I in change the your value of the rotation to 35 so it looks like this now and I'm gonna stop this episode
right here so here is our comment let me play the game and see how it looks here so another thing is if we don't want to see the comet starting and lengthening of this tail what we can do is select the comet uh, select the comet here and go to the level blueprint in the begin play we can get a reference then this comment and advance simulation by tapping fifty seconds so we should have reached a stable point now after play now we see the particle instantly like that and if we want to reduce the speed of the particles movement we can also use uh, we can use this set custom time dilation so custom time dilation north to like point 0.1 So now the particles are moving very slowly and I'm going to stop this episode right here. So thanks for watching. As always project files will be available in the Patreon page for the download. Link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the Patreon club. See you in another episode. Goodbye.